So we'll see the next question. Question number 14. So the question is, pipes A, B and C can fill a tank in 30 hours, 15 hours and 10 hours respectively. So if the pipes are opened in order at 7 a.m., 8 a.m. and 9 a.m. respectively, what will be the total time taken for the system to be filled? So in this question, we have more than two taps, that is we have three taps. So we can find LCM for time taken and that LCM is the assumed capacity and proceed. So earlier questions we saw, both taps are open and A was closed after 4 minutes and after 24 minutes B was closed. Here, after how many minutes A is open, after how many minutes B and C are open is not given. But instead, timings are given. So 7 a.m. A is open. At 8, B is open. So at this time, A is also there filling the tank together with B. And at 9 a.m., C is open. Now at from 9 o'clock, all the three taps are open till the tank is filled. So all the taps are opened in one, one hour interval of time. So we'll see the working. So how to proceed. So we have three taps, A, B and C. So A can fill it in 30 hours. B can fill in 15 hours. C can fill in 10 hours. So what is LCM for 30, 15 and 10? So 30 is LCM because 15 and 10 are factors of 30. So we can take capacity as 30 liters. And we will see what is work done by A, B and C in one hour. So this 30 liters can, if A can fill in 30 hours, so how much water A can pour in one hour? So it's only one liter. And what is work done by B? So A can pour only 1 liter of water per hour. And if B fills it in 15 hours, 30 by 15, so in 1 hour how many liters B can pour? 2 liters. And C can pour 30 divided by 10. In 1 hour C can pour 3 liters. <coughs> so now first A is open at 7 o'clock. At 7 a.m., A is open. And now at 8 o'clock, after 1 hour, B is open. So by this time, how many liters A can pour in the tank? Only 1 liter. Now at 8 a.m., B is open. And together with A, B is also there. Together with B, you have A also. So now when A and B are open, how many liters will be there for one hour? So one plus two, three liters. So at nine, C is also open. So now at this point we have all the three taps open. So when all the three taps are open, how many liters they can pour? So one plus two plus three, six liters in one hour. So when all the three are open, they can pour 6 liters in one hour. So at 7 o'clock A is open and it pours 1 liter. At 8, B is open together with A. So both the taps pour 3 liters. When you check at, when we check at 9 o'clock, we have already 4 liters of water in the tank. So now at 9 o'clock, C is also open. Now all the three taps remain open till the tank is filled. So now in this 30, how many liters of water is there? At 9 o'clock, 4 liters is there. So what is the remaining tank? We need 26 liters more. So at this point, from 9, every hour 6 liters is poured. To fill 26 liters, what will be time taken? 26 divided by 6 will be the time taken. So 6, 4 is 24. So quotient is 24, remainder is 2, so 4, 2 by 6.
or 4, 1 by 3 hours. So 4 hours and 1 third of hour. So what is 1 third of hour? So multiply it with 60. It is 20 minutes. So after 9, the tank is filled in 4 hours and 20 minutes. So when all the three taps are open, after 9, the remaining tank is filled in 4 hours and 20 minutes. But they are asked to find total time where the whole tank is filled. So already all the taps are open from 7 o'clock. So from at 7, A is open. At 8, B is open. At 9, C is open. And total time if needed. So from 9, it is 4 hours. Add this 2 hours. So from 7. So it is 6 hours and 20 minutes. So the full tank is filled in 6 hours and 20 minutes in this pattern. So answer for question number 14 is option A, 6 hours, 20 minutes. So right from 7 o'clock, the tank is filled in 6 hours and 20 minutes. And the shortcut here is, so taking LCM for time taken by all the three taps, and that LCM we assume as the capacity of the tank, and the working is done based on the question.